If you're listening to me right now and you think thinness is the ideal, if you're listening to me right now so you can be skinny, so you could fit into a smaller size so that you can measure up, I want you to pause this podcast and I want you to step away and I want you to focus on loving yourself. I want you to focus on all the things that make you amazing and all the things that make you incredible. And I want you to see that the curves that you hold on your body could in fact be a superpower for you. I believe growing up a plus size girl is my superpower. I believe being in a curvy body is beautiful and voluptuous. And I believe that I became so beautiful and so attractive when I started to love myself in the body that I am in now today. So learning to love my 300 pound version of me led me to who I am today and the life that I live today. Self-love is unconditional love. Self-love is loving yourself no matter your size. Self-love is loving yourself no matter how much money you have in the bank, no matter what your relationships are like, no matter how much success you have achieved. So if you are coming onto this podcast to hear about how you can lose weight through manifestation, to measure up, to stand up, to be worthy, to become thin, I want you to focus on self-love. I have so much self-love work available for you to listen to free. I have a self-confidence masterclass on YouTube. Please go and find that and have a listen. And then come back and listen to this podcast, the rest of this podcast, with new eyes, with a new perspective, and a new awareness. One of the affirmations that I have on my phone, it's one of the folders with all my apps on my phone, is I am beautiful now. So anytime I would look in the mirror and say, I'm gross, I'm ugly, ugh, I would tell myself, no, I am beautiful now. But something happened for me along my journey. So this has been a path towards the realization of the best of myself. And so that path led to, in September of 2019, for the first time, deciding that no, I am not going on a diet. No, I am not gonna lose weight. Yes, I'm gonna love myself the way that I am. So the first time in my life, in 2019, I said, no, I'm just gonna eat what I want. And I am just gonna exercise whenever I want and whenever I feel like it. And I'm just gonna love myself and I'm gonna go out and create success. And I am going to give myself grace. And that's where my first quantum leap led me. So that awareness allowed me to go from self-deprecating thoughts to self-loving thoughts to becoming unstoppable and powerful. But there's always different levels of growth and awareness. There's always different places to go. And so the next step in my journey then was to start thinking about health. Not weight loss, but thinking about health. And so in 2022, January, I decided that was gonna be my year of health. I decided I was gonna start walking every single day. I felt like I wanted to move my body more, not to get thin, not to lose weight, but every day move my body so I could have more endurance and I would have um, different type of energy and spiritually I'd be outside in nature every day. So I started walking. Then I decided, you know what? What else would health mean to me? Health would be that I consume things in my body that help my body to fuel it and not to consume things that I do not believe benefit me in some capacity. And so I started thinking, what do I consume right now that isn't helping me, that isn't nutritious, that isn't advancing my body in a positive way? Alcohol was one of them. So in February of 2022, I cut alcohol from my life. I decided I'm no longer a drinker, I'm a non-drinker. And I changed my identity to no longer drink. Not from a place of shame, not from a place of I have a problem, I need to fix the problem but moving towards an idea of health, not to lose weight, but the idea of health and longevity. And then the universe started responding to me in an even bigger way and gave me a health crisis. So sometimes things need to get a bit disorganized before they come back together organized. Sometimes things need to almost fall apart before they come together perfectly. Mm -hmm. 